In this video, I'm gonna help you understand two popular reporting tools, Tableau and Data Studio. I'm gonna show you the pros and cons, which one you should use for your company, and some general best practices for both of them. Let's jump right in. Hi there, my name is Ruben, and I'm a data strategist here at Practical Analytics. Uh, and we'll cover uh, two reporting tools, Tableau and Data Studio. And I actually got to use both of them uh, in two different projects recently, uh, which gave me a, a great opportunity to see them in practice and see what really works and what doesn't work about them. And some general best practices for both of them. Let's jump right in. Now, we're gonna do pros and cons, so you understand where I'm coming from, you know, my perception of them. Tell you a little bit how to choose uh, among them, what sort of the, the ideal fit uh, for each one, and then some general best practices uh, around both tools uh, and really any dashboarding tool. So I started Tableau. You know, the number one pro of Tableau is that it's a very established player. It's been around for a long time, which means there's a lot of functionality in the product. Fundamentally, there's a lot of different ways you can slice the product. Almost any use case you can imagine, they probably support it. That is a great pro, especially for bigger companies. The product itself has lots of ways of showing data, displaying data, building dashboards, filtering. When I was working through it, uh, our mindset was, I'm sure if we want to do it, we could find a way to do it. It might take a long time. It might not be very stable. It might be a little hacky, but we could probably find a way to do it in the Tableau ecosystem. On the con side, the complexity is uh, an issue. If you're a smaller company, you might struggle to actually deal with all this complexity. Now the product suite is a bit confusing in my opinion, if you've never seen it. There is Tableau Online and Tableau Public and Tableau Server and you know, six other things. The price of Tableau will be a second con as well. You know, I think it starts about $1,000 for one license. And if you have you know, three, four, five, ten 10 licenses, you're talking about five, ten thousand $10,000 a year just to get started. That is worth the price for the complexity and the functionality, but depending on where you're at, it might be a little bit too much. Now, Data Studio, on the other hand, the main pro that I see with it is that it's very easy to use. You can quickly get up and running. You know, in our project, we got up and running in maybe a few days uh, once we had all our, all our data uh, done and structured. In Tableau, on the other hand, it took us probably weeks to sort of get to that point. Now, the other pro of Data Studio is that it's uh, free. And what's interesting too, if you think about it, is that the product actually doesn't change at the 360 level, which we sometimes see with other Google products like Google Analytics, uh, Google Tag Manager. So the Google Data Studio is the same product at the free level, at the premium level. You might have some security things on top of it, but it's fundamentally the same. The major con I see with Data Studio is like other Google products, it works very well in the Google ecosystem. If you wanna to connect to AdWords data or YouTube data or Google BigQuery, this is really straightforward. The moment you go outside that ecosystem, it really depends. They have some integrations, uh, some webhooks or some, some things that bring other data in, but it really depends what's supported there. So that's something to keep in mind, that depending on where your data is stored, it may be really easy or really hard to actually bring it in to be visualized for Data Studio. Now for me, the ideal fit for each company is roughly how they actually fell into my projects. Tableau is a fantastic option for larger companies where you can have multiple people using it. You can actually invest and have Tableau experts, whether you hire them or you, or you build them internally, and you need functionality. You need different ways of slicing the data and showing it the security protocols and things like that. Data Studio, on the other hand, uh, I think is a great fit for smaller companies. You can get up and running very quickly. Uh, you can have one person manage it. Uh, you can build it with your Google data, like a Google Sheets. It's very easy to get going and be up and running. Now, I could see smaller companies starting with something like Data Studio and eventually having to abandon it because it's just too simple and they need something much more complex like Tableau to really uh, do what they want to do at a certain level. Finally, three best practices here, and this really applies to any dashboarding tool, whether it's Tableau or Data Studio, Domo, Power BI, Clipfolio, Databox, whatever else uh, might be out there. First, it really is about how you store the data. The better this is, the more flexible this is, the easier your life will be. You know, in both projects, we actually use Google Sheets quite a bit, which uh, is a very easy way to get started, but performance suffers. It's just not as quick to pull data from it. Uh, if you also have multiple people editing the spreadsheet, you run into issues at some point. So a data warehouse is the ideal option here. You know, sending everything to a data warehouse, ensuring the schema in the warehouse is what you need, and then pulling it from there. The second best practice is really around displaying data. Are you doing too much? You know, are you trying to 
to give everything you know about the data, which is what people need to know. And that's really what we want to focus on here. Try to have a dashboard that is targeted, that people can go in and they can play around with it, maybe add their own filters, their own comparisons. And that tends to be a better approach than building huge dashboards with multiple tabs and things like that. And the third best practice is really about format. Both of them naturally function as uh, websites or you know uh, web links or bookmarks. That's sort of the classic way. I think it's an old school way, to be honest. The modern way to take data is to really convert it into multiple formats. So you have your dashboards, where you imagine, but you have email digests, you have notifications, uh, you have text or something else, you have Slack messages, uh, you may have other ways of exploring the data like a CSV. And you wanna be able to support all these options. Now, Tableau will likely be able to do a lot more than Data Studio, naturally, more complexity, more futures. But nonetheless, you wanna be able to look beyond that and maybe just look at your, your core data source. You know, How do you take your raw data and maybe send it out in different ways or different formats? So think about format, think about how people consume the data, which I think matters just as much as the design of the dashboard itself. And that's all we have for today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, look for the subscribe button and the like button uh, around this video. I would really appreciate that. You might be able to see that uh, I have a slightly new setup here, some new lights, some new cameras, some new microphones. Uh, so working on improving the quality of the video. So if you have any feedback on that, I'd be happy to hear that. I'm also gonna put a link to my weekly newsletter, the growth needle in the description. I share similar ideas, resources, events, and some stuff that only goes out to my newsletter. So look for the link in the description. And finally, in the comments, tell me what you think about Tableau and Data Studio. Uh, did you like them? Did you not? Were you frustrated? Maybe with Tableau, as it can be frustrated. Uh, let me know in the comments. Talk soon.